Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, we are in class number seven and now we are going to talk about rigging. I know uh, a lot of different uh, options inside Maya, but actually the rigging process is very important because it's the one that is going to allow you to move in, in, in some cases when you have a character you can add bones to it and then you can move it and make him, you know, you can actually create cool animations um, cooler animations I will say <laughs> than uh, static animations so but um, right now we have an airplane and we will probably rig this object I don't care we can make him look like a kind of an organic uh, object instead of uh, uh, a static object and who knows I don't know what are we what, what are we gonna do with it so here's the, the scene that we we have from our previous uh, session I believe was the class number six all right where, where we talk about materials so remember if you are here and you want to find out uh, if you want to learn everything about uh, this mini training course you can go to our uh, channel and you can watch it from the beginning um so okay now what we will do is uh start by changing the position of our object i'm gonna call my grid and let's hide this object for uh, for now I'm just gonna press control H and that will allow me to hide it for now and I want to change the pivot point of this object because right now the pivot point is right here at the tail and if I wanted to rotate this object you can see it's rotating based on that uh, point so how can we change that I'm gonna go to the modify tab and then I'm gonna go here and select this option called center pivot and that will put the pivot point right at the center of my object so now what I can do is go to my P cube and I can change the translate options I can put it in zero and I can go and put it in zero and now that is gonna be the center of my object but as you can see that center changed because uh, when we were tweaking our object the the position of the object was uh, wasn't exactly the same as the beginning and that's why the center right now is not zero so what I can do is try to place it right here for example and then I can I can say okay that's gonna be my my center my, my point and we have obviously more ways of accessing to this area I can actually press the insert key and then I can manually move the center point of my object and that's actually pretty cool if you want to uh, move again don't forget to press insert one more time okay so that's what we have and I'm pretty happy with that I want the center point right there I want the position of my object right almost in the center and but the thing is that my translate options are moved now so what I will do is go to modify and then I will say freeze transformations and that way I have zero 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 now another thing that we have right now is that we have all these different things because remember when we were modeling this object we created a lot of different objects here so what I will do before we start to um, rig this object is I will select it and then I go to modify and then I'm gonna uh, excuse me to edit and then I'm gonna go here to delete by type and I'm gonna delete all the history all these files so I'm gonna press and they're gone and I will get only my material the poly shape okay which is not the the basic shape that we created I, I mean I don't have access to all the components all the the sections and the, the number of sections that we have for our cube and then our holder remember okay perfect so now let's move what I will do now is change to another view I'm gonna go here to my top view probably and here in my top view I can um, I can see better how my object is created and I remember I'm I'm using a really small uh, screen right now and I don't have access to to see a, a lot of detail here but I'll try my best to uh, try to put everything where it belongs so I'm gonna go here to animation and then I'm gonna select one of these options which is actually the join tool the join tool is something like um, like, like its name you know it's a joint you imagine it's like an elbow like a shoulder like a wrist where you can actually connect one bone to another so what I will do is uh, I can call my snap tool if I want to and now what I can do here is if I click here I'm gonna snap that point It's like when we were using our curve tool so I can click and create one point but in, in this case I'm creating a, a joint 
and then I'm gonna create another one right here and it's gonna create another joint but in between it's gonna create a bone okay and then I will create another one right here and probably another one right here and now these joints and bones are not right here on top of my object that is because I want you to see how they look if I place them on top of my object you probably don't gonna see them now that you know how they look I'm gonna switch to my move tool and now I can go here and because I have my snapping tool uh, active I can snap them to that uh, specific area of my grid but I don't want to use that anymore so I will go and deselect my snapping tool and one thing that I want to do is remember if you press 4 you can get to the wireframe and now I can see exactly what I want to place that and I think I'm gonna place it right right here right so I have this, uh, this section now all these joints as you can see each one of them they have their own values for their, their own coordinates and where right now this one is pointing to X in this direction then this one is pointing to X in that direction I mean it's a complete different setup in every well not in every single one because these two they are pointing in the same direction but this one is not so that's one thing that you have to keep in mind when you are rigging in this case I'm, I'm not gonna worry about that because uh, like, like I said before we don't have the time and also um, what I want you to see is actually the process of building the, the and the skinning and I don't know if we're gonna get uh, we don't have time so right now we have our first set of joints now right now if you try to move that you're gonna be moving that uh, all the entire set of joints so what I will do is I'm just gonna call my outliner and then inside here you're gonna see that uh, we have if you open if you open that we will get all the different joints that we created and now I have joint 1 which is the first one then I have joint 2 then I have joint 3 then I have joint 4 now here's where uh, grouping things and parenting stuff comes into place because I mean if we have this joint without being the father of the joint number 2 that will mean that every single joint will be in their own uh, space and they will, uh, they will not share that connection they will they're not going to be related so that's why the, we have this kind of uh, stairs where you can see that we go here from joint 1 to joint 2 then joint 3 then joint 4 which means if I move joint 1 I'm gonna move all of them and then if I move joint 2 I'm gonna move only joint 3 and joint, joint 4 and then if I move joint 3 it's gonna move only joint 4 okay but uh, that's how we work now let's move to our perspective view so that we can see where this bone all these bones are located and now I'm gonna change my view to my side view because remember I made a mistake and I uh, created that in uh, a weird way and I didn't pay attention to where I was placing that so now what I will do is try to match the position of these objects and as you can see I can basically select my joints right here and I've, I have to click exactly on the on, on the uh, actual joint not in the bone if you want to select and move that if you click on the bone what you will do is select the is the interpolation that is between these two objects so if you select the bone you're gonna sell you're gonna select uh, the, the bone before while well, the joint before excuse me and that's um, and that hierarchy okay the same thing so now we have a better shape I just move them like that and um, one thing that we can do now is uh, if we want we can mirror these objects so as you can see we have here an option called mirror joint now we can go to our main menu and change this to animation and now when we change to animation we will have all the different objects that are going to allow us to work with joints in this case I will call this one for example and now you can see that I have the mirror joint I can select my uh, structure the root of my joint in this case joint one and I can go here check uh, click on the on this uh, mirror joint options in the square and now we will have this uh, new window now what we can do is specify how we want to, to to mirror this thing and right now we have XY if I click on apply we will get what we need because remember I don't have the the regular behavior and I, I mean I didn't uh, model the front in the front and uh, the side was uh, is facing my front camera and my uh, side is uh, my in my front uh, the, the front of my object is facing the side camera so that's why XY is working perfectly but sometimes 
if you do get, for example, x and c, uh, y and z, and then I apply that, I will get that. It looks like nothing is happening, but actually I am mirroring mirroring that, but it's just that in a different position. The position is right there, so I'm duplicating that object. It's right there in the same position. Okay, so that's what is happening. Now, um, what we will do, obviously, is uh, just make sure that we don't have the other one anymore. Pressing Control Z. And obviously, if I press X, Z, I will get a different version where I will get them mirrored in that uh, in that other version. So I will go with X, Y and hit apply. And now we have uh, this two uh, set of joints. OK, now I'm going to press close here. And right now we have two rows of joints and probably we want to have only one controller. In this case, what I can do is simply, I can go to my top view, and if I want, I can create another joint right here. So I will go and select my joint tool, and then I can create one right here, which is gonna be joint number nine. And if I want, I can add another one or just leave this one right here. Now, the thing is that I want you to see that I can take now this joint or actually take joint number one, for example, and if I middle mouse click on it and drag on top of the joint nine, I'm gonna place it underneath the joint nine. So now joint nine is gonna be the boss of these other ones. I can do the same thing with the other row of the other uh, chain of bones and, and joints. So I will take joint five, I will middle click, and then I will drag on top of joint nine, and that will make the joint number nine the power uh, the more powerful. So which means that now if I move that, I will move the entire object. And right now I just want to have it as a controller. All right. And that's uh, that's basically what, what I want. Now, remember, the orientation is going to probably uh, you're going to have issues with the orientation of your joints. But for now, let's make it uh, let's not uh, complicate our life. So what I will do now is probably try to see how this thing is going to behave. So I will take these three joints and I will take my rotation tool. And now you can see how we can have this kind of behavior. And that's what I'm talking about. For example, if I start, if I start to, to rotate this, you can see that the rotation is actually not giving me the, the result that I really want because of the orientation of every single one of these objects. Now, this is in case of me wanting to to have a kind of a, a wing uh, effect where I want the the, fli the flipping of the of the wings kind of being like a bird but another thing that I can do actually is just take um, this one and I can modify it like this and in this case what I really want you to know is how you can create the bones how you can attach the bones how the structure of the hierarchy works inside uh, Maya I'm not to worry about the uh, weight and things like that and how to manipulate the bones because that's another uh, topic but in, in this uh, you know very amount of uh, it's a small amount of time I want you to get the idea of how you can create the bones how you can uh, organize them and how you can make them actually move the surface of your object because right now if we remove uh, place that again in, with our uh, shader you can see that all these bones if I select them they are not attached to our object so what is the point of having that and I mean we are not moving our object and that uh, doesn't look very nice so what I will do now is select this object the joint number nine and then I will control and click on my P cube and actually I'm gonna change the name of this cube and I'm gonna uh, call this one ship okay and then I'm gonna call this one uh, join joints and then I will call this one uh, it will be left wing and then I'm just gonna call this one right wing okay and obviously this name this uh, these uh, names are only for demonstration purposes because obviously when you're working with a lot of joints you need to specify exactly which one you are using and if you're using uh, more objects right now we are not using IK or anything like that but if you're using that you would like this thing can get pretty complex alright so for now let's keep everything simple 
and all right so we have uh, our names we know what the, the joints are so I can even close this and I know that all my joints are, are there so I will control click on the ship and that way I can select both objects if I press shift and click I will select also the nerves plane because it's in between but if I click and then control click on top of the ship I will get only those two okay so that's great now what we should do is go to the uh, to the skin tab and then here we have another option called bind skin and that's the one that we want now we need to select both our joints and our object if we don't we are not going to get the result all right now we have different options we have smooth bind we have interactive skin bind and we have rigid bind i really don't care uh, but let's let's use smooth bind right now and you can actually click and get the options and here as you can see there's a lot of things that probably right now you you're like what is that you know like why uh, are we uh, looking at this so like i told you the rigging process probably it, it could be really complex it all depends on the the object that you you're going to be rigging and the specifications of the movement of that object is not only about the object it's it's about what animation is going to be drive by this uh, by your rig so for now let's uh, just leave everything the way it is and then just click on bind skin perfect so now what's happening let's see if it's working so what i will do is go to my joints and then i'm gonna go up and wow you can see how i am moving my airplane with the with the joints which is cool don't you think well so now this is my the we have a relationship between these joints and the ship where is kind of reading and attaching that information um into the entire object now one thing to keep in mind is that sometimes uh, uh, right now i didn't put anything here on top of the nose of this object but if we, if i was going if i put uh, something like that like another joint here on the nose and then i uh switch the the weight of that i could be having problems when when i will be moving that up and the nose could stay here okay but right now it's not the case because remember this one is the chain is the, the master so whatever is attached to this one is going to move perfect but okay so right now we are good now let's see how the movement of this uh, left wing uh, wing uh, is going to look so i'm going to select the left wing there uh, the joint i'm not selecting my object and then i'm going to change to my rotation tool and now for example if i start moving that you can see that's what i was talking about where you can see that because the influence of uh, of the skin well basically what i used was the smooth skinning process so you can see the behavior that we are getting looks like an organic kind of plastic thing but more uh, not a rigid kind of plastic it looks like a soft plastic because we are deforming that like this and then i can open this and select for example all these joints and now change the way this thing is going to be moving and allows me to get a more uh, organic movement if i select the three bones i can get this kind of flapping like i was telling you uh, like kind of a bird kind of movement and now obviously we can open all this and we can select them all but the problem here i don't know if it's going to work oh perfect there we go because we have the same the, the right orientation so you can see how we are flipping and this object looks like it's flying wow obviously it's uh, getting uh, a lot of deformation but that's what i'm talking about like this object if we were uh, modeling uh, a bird instead of uh, an airplane we will get something more realistic you know because the the way our the, the bodies they deform if you breathe you get different sensations you move if you move a, m a muscle you will get something like that but that's basically the the main the, the core of uh, the process of rigging that's what i wanted to show you and i hope uh, i completed uh, that mission and please remember comment on this uh, site please go check our the, the different uh, uh, training courses that we have and uh, all our training courses are uh, like really in depth and i i promise you uh, uh, if you don't like it i mean you are the one that is going to judge uh, what you learn so for now that's it thank you very much i will see you in our next movie for now bye bye